It all started with the born legend, Tessa Blanchard, proclaiming her greatness. I am the world champion, and I am the baddest bitch in this building. And with that proclamation, the most powerful forces in WOW were claiming their stake for the WOW World Championship. You're only the champ, because I'll let you be. Oh, my. Strong words from the challenger. It took both of you to get my shoulders to the mat. Havoc is here. We're not going to have three of you in here tonight. No way. Sofía, gracias por darle esta oportunidad a mi cliente. Dame el dinero, perra. Y por cierto, de nada. Hotel a lot. They were over at the Lux Hotel on Rodeo Drive the other night. They had caviar, they had champagne, and Lana was having a talk with the babe. And I don't know about what. We didn't eavesdrop, but right now we've got the fabulous Lana Star with the babe. Hi, everybody. I've got a big announcement. Uh oh, what's this going to be? Team Series. Lana's gonna wrestle. Lana's back in the ring. Lana's back in the ring. And I picked a partner that I know won't let me down. Gotta be the babe. One with the athletic ability to take us all the way to the end of the series and win the championship belt. She's one of the greatest talents to ever step foot in this ring. And I've really grown to admire her because she reminds me of me. What's she talking about? So without further ado, I want to introduce... The Babe, we see her. The Babe. What? The Babe. What? Beverly Hills Babe, that's not her music. Babe, look who it is. It's the Lioness. The Lioness is here in the Velasco Theater with her trademark backup dancer. It's a younger version of Lana and the Babe with a sprinkle of pizzazz. I don't know about that. The Lioness is a fiery, young, spirited competitor. That's what I said, a younger version. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're not doing this to me. You're not doing this to me, Lana Star. It's a lot to bring out the lioness. What is going on? You did not discuss this with me. You promised me that we were going to have gold around our way. You promised me I would have gold. You took me shopping. You introduced me to the Hollywood life, the red carpets, the Laker tickets, the Botox. Human being are you? I'm the kind of human being that 
grew up in Hollywood, where dreams are broken every single day. Now. Harsh realizations from Lana to the babe. Wait, wait. You know what? I love a good Hollywood story. A comeback. A comeback. So you know what? If you can beat her, you can be my partner and continue your life as my protege. What's this? They're setting up ah, a match. Ah. But if you lose, then you're cut. That's the harsh reality of Hollywood. Let's do this right now. Bull ultimatum. Ring it. Do we have a Ring match? Do we have a match? All right. Let's do it. Here we go. star who are you cheering for here well i know beverly hills babe's gonna let me down again so that's why i have my new protege the lioness but i'm a nice person lana how could you say that about somebody who's been so loyal to you all these years well i just said i'm a nice person i'm giving her one last chance oh big clothesline by the lioness Drop loyal, by the lioness. loyal lana star fires assistance left and right mr dickey I know, and but the look at this. The babe. babe is saying to Lana, Lana I am going to take her out. The babe needs to stay focused. She's taking her eyes off the lioness. Beverly Hills babe forcing the lioness to the ground. Look at this, Lana. She's, She's calling you out. Everyone focuses on me. It's like. Do the, the center time, of attention. Lana. The Lana Star Show. The Lana Star Show. The babe is showing you how good she is, Lana Star. The lioness may be the younger competitor. Why didn't she do that all the other times when we could have won the belt? The Beverly Hills Bay may have the age advantage here over the lioness, but she's acting like a spoiled child here, fighting for attention from a superior. You mentioned tag team tournament. You're not thinking you're wrestling, did you? Oh, I am. How did you do that? I have a special I... clearance to be in a tag team. I never saw any doctor papers. Oh, you better talk to Sofia Lopez. Sofia Lopez, once again, she pulls something off without my knowledge. The lioness remains hampered by that left knee that the babe strategically worked on. And now Beverly Hills babe mocking the lioness in her trademark dance that she does and her song that she comes out to every well, night here in WOW. Boob right to the face. The lioness may be catching a right black eye tonight. Now, Lana, I've got a question. What happens if the Beverly Hills babe wins? Well, yeah, what happens, that's Lana? That's a good question. Is you and the babe trying to enter the tag I team guess, tournament? I guess so. You don't sound too confident. She didn't think that out. The Beverly Hills Babe has control of this match. If she wins this, you're going to be stuck with a reluctant partner, to say the least. Oh, the Babe, when she thinks she has the lifestyle back, she'll be on top of things. We did see her practically grovel to get back in your good graces, Lana. Beverly Hills Babe, Lioness, elbow. Elbow to Beverly Hills Babe. Beverly Hills Babe needs to get back into this one, but Lioness is fighting back. The fighting spirit of a lion. That's what Faith the Lioness embodies. Look at that hit by the lioness leg. One paw, if you will. Lioness, though, still the knee, feeling it went right out from under her on that Irish whip. She used all of her strength on that one. Everything she could muster to Irish whip the babe. And the, the babe lioness. is still. The lioness. She needs to make the cover. Make the cover. But make the, the babe cover. is distracted babe. by Lana. Make the cover. The babe is distracted by Lana. Beverly Hills babe has a clear advantage. Oh, the babe was focused on Lana Star. The lioness smartly reversed the pin. The lioness just defeated the Beverly Hills Next, the governor's daughter, Abilene Maverick, versus the fast adrenaline.
see your legs doing much better. When are you gonna give me my match? Or are you afraid that I'm gonna win? Oh, Steffi, you're so silly. Your one win was a fluke. Until you can beat a formidable opponent, you and I are not talking. just to get a sick advantage over Steffi Slay so she wouldn't have to meet her in the center of the ring. And then, when Steffi got her first victory over the disciplinarian, we saw Abilene Maverick, with those crutches, attack Steffi Slay's in the locker room area. How can anybody condone these actions from the governor's daughter? She's privileged and she's a bully. And Steffi has been taking it a long time. And I tell you, Abilene dodged her. And we all know that knee injury was nothing more than a scam. And her opponent from Miami, Florida. Adrenaline! Adrenaline looks great in her gear, and I love that logo. It spills action. This is somebody I've been really excited to see, David. Adrenaline is a fast, unmatched competitor. We haven't seen anything like her. She has speed, power, Agility, she has it all. Adrenaline comes to WOW Women of Wrestling, this being her first competition. She is the complete package, and she's going to give Abilene Maverick a run for her money. Timekeeper Tim Harris rings the bell. This is going to be a good match, fans. Abilene, the governor's star, against Adrenaline. Adrenaline's expected to fire things up here in WOW, and this may be a great debut for her, or a terrible debut. We'll find out. Right now, the governor's daughter's in trouble. Adrenaline behind, and she's smiling because she knows she's got control. Adrenaline, she's got Emily Maverick down on the mat. This is not a familiar position for the governor's daughter. She's used to having control. Emily Maverick trying to get to the ropes. Adrenaline has that waist lock. Adrenaline. Abilene Maverick trying to get to the ropes. Adrenaline refuses to break that hold. Adrenaline may have some high school wrestling experience because she knows how to hold on to that waist and drive the competition. Abilene reverses it, though. Adrenaline, she breaks the hold. Abilene's down after an arm drag. Adrenaline not breaking the hold. She's got her in an arm bar. She's got that shoulder lock locked in. You know, Abilene saying that her knee was injured. We know, we believe it was a hoax, but she sat out for several weeks for wrestling and this may have cost her something. I mean, David, this we, she was right here at our announce desk. I, I mean, know, but she sat out and look, she's lost a little of the shine here. The governor's daughter's in trouble. Do you think she's working off some ring rust? Possibly, because Adrenaline down, look at that! What a good run up, dropkick, Adrenaline. She's not the competitor to work off the ring rust, Adrenaline. You got that right because she is fast in that ring. Adrenaline taking over on the governor's daughter and she's checking to see if she has a bloody lip. Oh! To the midsection by the governor's daughter. Pounds face the head first, in. Face first into the ring. But it's oh, right up. Adrenaline pops up. You're right. She blocked it with the hands. I didn't see it. Dude. Strikes in the midsection. But there Look you go. Her. She is a pure, absolute, unadulterated fighter. That is the best word to describe. Adrenaline. Adrenaline's got the advantage, but Abilene begging for mercy. Adrenaline listening to the fans, that's a mistake. Abilene begging, the fans giving some booing. I, I disagree, I think Adrenaline's a fair competitor. She's not gonna beat a weakened opponent. She wants to get the win fair and square. But she wants to know she's better than her opponent. But look at this, see? That's what I meant, Steven. You can't trust Abilene Maverick. She's a snake. 
That's true. She's not rusty on those dirty tricks now, is she, Dave? No, it's all natural to her. Absolutely. Everything's natural on Abilene. There you go. Some boots right to the chest of adrenaline. Look at this. That midsection of adrenaline reeling. Look She's rolling to the center of the ring. That's not where she wants to be. One, two, and a kick out. Adrenaline. This is her debut. She doesn't want to go down that easily. Abilene, she's got a rear choke locked in. She's cutting off the air supply two ways, the midsection and the neck. Adrenaline has to get to the ropes. She's got to do something here. This is her debut match. What do you say, Adrenaline? Yeah. Referee waving it off. Adrenaline not tapping out, not giving up, not surrendering. And of course, Abilene just like Smiling for the cameras. Jeff McGowan, I love his style of refereeing. He always looks over and lets us know what's happening in the ring. Nobody does it better than Jeff McGowan. He's third generation official. His dad, Scrappy, always in attendance at the WOW events. He's the senior official. The grandfather was great. His dad, Charlie, taught Scrappy. It's been handed down gener generation to generation, and we're lucky to have. Jeff McGowan in the ring. I love it. I mean, the McGowan family literally built the old school when it comes to refereeing and professional wrestling, David. You got that right. Adrenaline against the ropes. Go for a scissor take down with Abilene. Oh, there it is. What's the next sweep? Adrenaline. She's in control. One, two. Oh, no. Referee Jeff McGowan. He saw the shoulder up from Abilene. Adrenaline went for a strike. Abilene snapped. Across the knee. Adrenaline's reeling. She's dazed. She's confused. Abilene taking a little pomp and circumstance moment here. Suplex. Oh, back to the corner. Adrenaline. Abilene took too much time, Mr. Dickey, and it's cost her. Absolutely right. Adrenaline with some shoulder thrust to the corner. Abilene, she needs to get control back if she wants to win. Adrenaline's got her up. Fireman's carry. Here we go. She knew she had the match. She thought she had the match one. I thought she had the match one. I was going to take the hammer and ring the bell for you. I was so confident. Schoolboy roll. No, no. Small package roll up. Forgive me. Kick to the midsection. Abilene left herself wide open. The governor's daughter feels it tonight. Let's look at that replay, Mr. Dickey. Here we see that destroyer move that Adrenaline utilized to end this match. She got the one, two, three on Abilene. The move happened so fast, I don't think Abilene still knows what happened. She was in a daze, and there you have it. Adrenaline. The road of darkness, the path of destruction, the cards have unveiled the shiny new token. Soon the light will rise up and shine upon the tag team championship belts that we have won. The message is out and the cards have told. Be very careful. For now, you know! <laughs> Coming up next, Keita Rush and Steffi Slays reunited as the Bully Busters enter the Tag Team Championship Series. Stay tuned. Upon entering WOW Women of Wrestling, Keita Rush and Steffi Slays bonded over their shared history as victims of bullies. Keita Rush suffered physical abuse at the hands of her tormentors, while Steffi Slays endured the emotional trauma of her detractors. 
together they formed the Bully Busters. And the two succeeded side by side in the tag team division of WOW. As with all fierce newcomers, however, the two had individual goals and desires that pushed them in careers as single stars. Match. Really? Okay. Keita and Steffi even wrestled against each other in an emotional bout that pushed each competitor to their limit. Now, though, the tag team championship of WoW beckons them again. A siren song has called out to them to fulfill their destiny as a cohesive tandem. Keita Rush and Steffi Slays have achieved many things in WoW together and apart, but now can they solidify themselves with gold around their waists? Will they finally ascend to the pinnacle for which all women's tag teams strive? Can the Bully Busters become the WOW Tag Team Champions? of the voodoo doll siren, whom we've seen in the past somewhat luring Princess Aussie, if you will. But clearly it is now to take Holiday on her side and win those tag team championships. Will these two become the new tag team champions? Who knows? Is it in the cards? <laughs> oh, my. Take it away, Shawl. And their opponents from Dallas, Texas, and Los Angeles, California. Team of Steffi Slays, Kido Rush, the Bully Busters! David, I can hardly contain my excitement. This is what I've been most excited about. One of the most beloved tag teams in WoW, Steffi Slays, Kito Rush. They're back, they're together. Look at the excitement, look at this crowd. They love the Bully Busters. They're two of the most popular in WoW because they are the original WoW superheroes. Steffi Slay started with us when she was only 18 years old and still in high school. And Keita Rush has formed a legion of fans in Los Angeles because she created the 501C, the Bully Busters, up there in the valley. And she is dedicated to teaching women, kids, how to defend themselves against bullying. This match, the winners go on in the tag team series, Bully Busters versus Holiday and the Voodoo Doll Siren. But David, let's not forget, these two haven't teamed in a while. Do they still have that chemistry? I hope they do, but they were playing to their audience a little too long because when the bell hit, the Voodoo Doll and Holiday took advantage of it and rushed up. Right now, we've got all four competitors in the ring. Referee Jeremy Marcus needs to regain control of this one, or gain control, I should say. Stereo head scissors, stereo head scissors. The Bully Busters have this match right where they want it. I'm loving it, and the fans haven't sat down in the back since these two entered the arena. How could you remain seated? These two, easily, one of the most popular tag teams we've ever seen, and they're back. Let's not forget what happened last time we saw the Bully Busters. Steffi Slays ducks the clothesline. There she is, schoolboy roll up. One, two, kick out, kick out. Holiday to play mind games with her crossbody. Keita's got her down. One, kick out at one. Holiday not stand down for two. Keita Rush quickly to her feet. Keita Rush saying, bring it, bring it. Voodoo Dolls on the other corner recovering. A blow right to the midsection. Keita should have seen that coming because of her MMA practice. 
but MMA didn't save her in a wrestling ring. MMA cannot prepare you for whatever Siren and Holiday are. These two are from another world, another dimension. Holiday even says she's from the dark side. And now look at her. She's oh, look at that. Vicious sidewalk slam. Keita Rush got slammed into the mat. I often think if you have an MMA background, it may not be a condition to which it will help you in the squared circle. That's absolutely right. There's no way to prepare for moves like that sidewalk slam from Holiday. Holiday picks up Keita. Body slam. Keita Rush, that MMA background like we talked about, maybe not gonna be so valuable against a psychological competitor like Holla did, and her counterpart, Siren the Voodoo Doll. But it seems to cause a lot of distractions with the referee, which is allowing Holla and Siren to get a clear advantage in this one. Keita's reeling. Keita needs to make a tag to her partner. Smartly brings in Steffi Slays, a fresh person. Close line, Holiday's down. Steffi Slays, fresh competitor, fresh opponent for Holiday. Kick into the corner. Siren makes the tag. She went for a close line, but Steffi wisely throwing Voodoo Doll into the corner. Hip up, hip up. Holiday's ruling, but Siren's the legal competitor. Steffi. Steffi is clearly fresher than Holiday and Voodoo. But tell me, Mr. Dickey, who is the legal one in the ring? I'm confused. Siren's the legal competitor for her team. Meanwhile, Steffi's going for the victory roll on Holiday. Well, then the referees lost some type of control. <laughs> Referee counting, but Holiday's not the legal competitor. No. There's a potential drop kick by Keita, but it's sideswiped by Voodoo Doll. Steffi's now tired. Oh, exploder! Exploder suplex! And Voodoo's the legal person. Oh, did you see that? Lung blower. Steffi at the lung blower. Here we go. Holiday's got her. Holiday in. Hook in the arms. Steffi's face goes right into the mat. First, one, two, three. Here are your winners. And advancing in the loud tag team tournament. tell you fans this match is going to go under review because Holiday was not the legal person in the ring as far as I'm concerned. That's right. But right now they're declared the winners and they're going to move on in the tag team championship series. Here you see it fans. Steffi Slays taken down right there. Holiday hit that vicious face buster and then the pin by Holiday. All hope for it. Steffi Slays key to rush the Bully Busters tag team reunion lost. One fell swoop. Give us your thoughts, being one more step closer to the WOW Tag Team Championships. You saw, now know what the cards see. Victory! The tarot cards have spoken. Amber, who ran over your dog. Did you see what Lana Starr did Since to me? Since when does Amber O'Neill, the bullet babe, care about some Beverly Hills bimbo anyways? You just don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand, you're right. Like in what lifetime does she really think In Lionesses? what lifetime do you care what Lana Starr or anybody else thinks? Because the Amber O'Neill that I knew, the bullet babe did whatever it takes, no matter what anybody thought, to get the job done. You know what? Get up. Come on. Let's go. Where I know something's going? gonna make us feel better. We're gonna get you out of this clown suit and we're I gonna talk. I love this outfit. You're, it looks ridiculous. Last week we saw it all go down in a triple threat number one contenders match featuring former world champion Jungle Girl, Havoc, the Monster of Madness, and the Beast. <laughs> The match was set to determine the next challenger for the WOW Championship, held by Tessa Blanchard in tonight's main event. Who is that? Who's that? 
Bowen Havoc's friend in destruction, Hazard, entered the ring to help the Monster of Madness, the match was declared a no contest, resulting in Tessa Blanchard proclaiming, How about this? How about next week I just pick my own opponent since you can't keep things under control? We are about to learn the results of the Born Legends proclamation. Earlier, we saw Sofia Lopez hand Tessa Blanchard a briefcase. Next, we find out who Tessa Blanchard allows to take a shot at the championship title. Stay tuned. championship bout her name is serpentine but maybe the snake is really in sofia lopez serpentine right here in front of us already playing mind games we're not your opponent serpentine i believe that suitcase handed to tessa blanchard earlier must have something to do with this match Maybe just like her dad, Tully Blanchard, and his Tully Blanchard Enterprises, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And we all know what an underhanded player Tully Blanchard was. And just like J.J. Dillon with a pocket of cash, Sofia Lopez may have just proved by providing a briefcase of cash to Tessa to accommodate this title match with Serpentine. We're going to have to find out. And her opponent from Charlotte. North Carolina. She is a third generation wrestler, the born legend, and your world, world champion, Tessa. You know, David, you raised a good point. Tony Blanchard, he had deep pockets with JJ Dillon. And Tessa Blanchard seems to be delving into those deep pockets to get this match underway between she and Serpentine. Tessa Blanchard has the gold around her waist, but she's been very intelligent in getting it and keeping it, securing it in her possession. Tessa Blanchard is, as she refers to herself, the diamond, the diamante of professional wrestling, third generation, born legend, undeniable, whatever superlative you want to give her, she is the undeniable WOW World Champion, that's for certain. Tessa Blanchard in the ring with that championship belt around her waist. This title defense, as you know, should have been against Havoc, Jungle Girl, or The Beast. But due to the interference by Hazard, it was a no contest. And then due to some chicanery by Sofia Lopez, we've got Serpentine in here. That's right, we've seen chicanery, Tom Fleury, all of the above to get Serpentine into this contest against Tessa Blanchard. This match is for the WOW World Championship. David, you know before this match begins, it really seems like we've got a contest of two snakes slithering around this ring right now. That's interesting analogy. Tessa Blanchard, Serpentine. Two competitors, two very cerebral competitors. Oh, this is the main event. Serpentine getting a shot at the WOW Championship. These and anything can happen, as you know. Absolutely, these two well-traveled competitors, they've seen everything, they've done everything, twice in fact. And now they meet each other here in the squared circle of WOW. Serpentine, she's got her in the waist lock. Tessa Blanchard has to fight out of it. Tessa Blanchard, is she gonna let this crowd get to her? They're very vocal. They're trying to keep Serpentine in this one. Serpentine slithered out. She's got Tessa, she's trying to secure her into a submission hold, but Tessa fights out of it. She's got Serpentine. Is that a choke? Is that a choke? How does she have it locked in? Referee's gotta check, Serpentine powers her down. Serpentine, Tessa Blanchard, not, she's trying to maintain her position here. She doesn't want Serpentine to turn her over. Almost had it, almost. Almost. 
almost had it, but almost doesn't count. This ain't horseshoes, David. No. Tessa Blanchard waving off the would-be challenger. Friendships and alliances go out the window in world title matches, David. They sure do. Everybody wants to be world champion, even a snake like Serpentine. Tessa Blanchard should know Serpentine's snakes have no allies. Well, Sofia Lopez knows about the championships. She knows about gold. She's had those tag team championship belts in her hands through cage heat. That's right. And she wants a title championship in her hand. She wants the world title. She wants the one WOW championship that has eluded her her entire career here in WOW. She wants the gold. She's had the silver. She wants the gold. Yes. And we know Jungle Girl, Havoc, and the Beast are paying attention to this event right now. How could you not? They were, in, they were within fingertips of having the world championship title match. And now it's gone to this. Serpentine, through money, through being paid off. Sophia Lopez got this through financial means. But Serpentine might have the world championship if she can pin Tessa Blanchard here. Well, we have to say, assume, and we believe. We don't actually know what's gone on. Very true. I apologize for editorializing there. We do not have the fact. That's right. We don't want to be like the news that reports things that doesn't have the facts. That's right. No hashtag fake news here. <laughs> Serpentine, she's got the crowd in the palm of her hand here in Los Angeles. The Velasco Theater, 1050 South Hill Street. Come join us if you get the chance. Tessa Blanchard. Oh, I and thought I she was going to walk up. I got to tell you. Steven, Serpentine's got to stay on top of Tessa Blanchard, though. She paused for her fans, and you can't do that with the world champ. Well, with Serpentine, she's not used to being cheered like this, but against an unlikable character like Tessa Blanchard, I think it's playing in her favor. She's not used to it, so she's soaking in that edge. Look at that maneuver! Pitfall, pitfall, Go one, two, kick out, Serpentine. Serpentine going up. Oh, rolling clutch pin, one, two, kick out. Tessa Blanchard doesn't know what hit her. Kick to the midsection, Serpentine. Oh, chop to the chest. Look at the grimace on the face of Tessa Blanchard. No, wow. They heard that. Boy would be proud of that one. Yes, he would. He'd give it a big woo. They heard that out in Santa Monica on the beach. I think they heard that down in Flair Country in North Carolina. Man. <laughs> Miss Blanchard's in trouble. Serpentine on top of her. Into the road. Look at that. Diabolical elbow smash. Tessa Blanchard showing why she is indeed the world champion of WOW. Absolutely. Tessa Blanchard, she calls herself the diamond of professional wrestling, and she proves it night in and night out. She may have gained the title through nefarious means, but she's keeping it through intelligence and a very, very psychological strategy. Serpentine's in trouble, and I gotta tell you, there's a contention of fans that are cheering for the champion. Very a, small, very it's small. It's small, contingent. but they're vocal. They're small, but they're vocal. Very true, a small minority cheering for the champion here. Fans do respect her athletic prowess. The champion, Tessa Blanchard. Serpentine's in trouble. She did exactly what was said earlier. She didn't stay on top of Tessa when she had her. Absolutely. She took a pause for the applause, <laughs> and it's cost her. Very true. Now, Tessa Blanchard did say earlier this season in WOW that she is the biggest star in the industry, and it's hard to argue with her. And you don't get that way just by resting on your laurels. Tessa Blanchard stays on top of her opponents, just like she's doing with Serpentine right here. And that is how you stay on top of the mountain. That's how you stay on top of the world. And Tessa Blanchard doesn't plan on being unseated from the pinnacle anytime soon. Tessa's got Serpentine. Short arm clothesline, Tessa Blanchard. Look at that face. Just like we saw earlier, Tessa Blanchard is willing to do anything. Absolutely To anything. keep that championship title around her waist. Very true. Tessa Blanchard will stoop to any low and ascend to any high just to make sure that gold stays around her waist. Serpentine trying to break out. Tessa from the rope, still holding. Oh! Russian leg sweep, but she's not breaking it. She's holding on to Tessa. Tessa's in trouble. Tessa's in trouble right now, there fans. Boston Crab, Tessa can't reach the ropes. This is here. it. She's not going to hit any ropes. 
Serpentine's got to be focused. Oh, we've seen this from Serpentine before. Very unique submission. Very unique. The snake has unhinged the jaw, and she plans on Tess is in trouble. Oh, referee could call. She's banging her head against that bottom turnbuckle. Tessa feeling the pain in the head. Serpentine had her, but couldn't hold her longer. I thought that was a mistake when she turned her 360. We're gonna need the doctors to check out Tessa after that one. Might have a head injury from all those bumps to the turnbuckle. She's been giving it out every night, coast to coast, city to city. I think two nights ago she was in Chicago. Now she's here in LA. She's got a grueling schedule, and that's what makes it dangerous because a girl like Serpentine could take advantage of that travel and get an upset, if you will. I was getting ready to ask you that. Well, Serpentine, let's not forget, she's also a well-traveled athlete, too. She, too, comes from a large background of professional wrestling. She's had several matches under her belt. She very well, too, could be feeling some effects of travel and long schedule. Yes, but one thing was for sure, Sofia Lopez got her into L.A. about eight days ago and had her resting downtown. Sofia Lopez acting as a smart manager, making sure Serpentine got the rest necessary to go against the champion. And look at that, Tessa taken out on the outside. Put it can run on the outside. Into the barricades. The champion is down. The champ, Tessa Blanchard. Blanchard's in trouble and a kick just for good measure. Serpentine's no saint, let's not forget that. She's named after a snake for a reason. She's out here, she's gonna fight just as dirty as Tessa can dish out. Serpentine knows you gotta win the match on the inside, but Tessa, suicide dive! Suicide dive! Serpentine, who was striking every advantage she could, allowed Tessa to get in, she hit the ropes due to her knowledge that Serpentine was on the outside, and she drilled her right through the ropes. I'm not a car guy, but Tessa's just entered another gear. She's very dangerous when she enters this level of competition. Very few people, if any, can defeat her when she's at this level. She wanted to pile drive Serpentine. She wants to hurt her. She wants to maim her. She wants to cause damage. Knee to the face. The champ caught again by a knee, but it's not twice by a foot a punch. Serpentine felt that right in the jaw. She luckily rolls into the ring and set on the outside. Serpentine wanted to hit that bicycle kick on the outside, but Tessa Blanchard fought back with a strike of her own. Tessa's got Serpentine by the hair. What's she gonna do here? She's oh. gonna take her back. Oh. Not on the, what did she feel there? She's not gonna superplex her out of the ring under oh. the guardrail, is she? Oh. The fans gotta get back. Serpentine could go into that front row she's and hit the children. It's going to cause permanent damage to Serpentine. But Serpentine suplexes her into the ring. Tessa's plan backfires, and she is taken back into the ring the hard way. Look at the anguish. Look at the agony on the face of Tessa Blanchard. This main event is taking its toll on Tessa. This competitor, this Serpentine, this snake. Serpentine hung on just like a snake. Just like a boa constrictor, she had that neck on Tessa, and she leveraged it and took the champ right into the ring. Like I said earlier, it's like Serpentine unhinged her jaw, just grabbed Tessa in her clutches, and just pounded her into the mat. Now, Everybody in here is on their feet right now. This is a hot main event, and this crowd can feel it. Clothesline, elbow smash, Tessa's down, champion's down, challenger in full control of this match. Serpentine dropped it. My goodness, did you see the next step, David? Yes, I did. The pressure on the neck. Here it is. New kick out. This match has been bowling shoe ugly, and Tessa Blanchard refuses to give up. Fans on their feet screaming for Serpentine. Some fans screaming for Blanchard to kick it into another third gear. Tessa Blanchard. Oh, my. Full Nelson into the face. Tessa in just pure agony right now. She doesn't know what she's got to do to keep down this challenger. She's tried everything. She's pulled out all the stops. Suicide dives to the outside. Anything she can pull out, she's done it. Tessa's going to the top rope. She went for the Meteora. Serpentine with knees to the base, knee plus. Serpentine's got her. 
Hoisting her up. What's she going for here? Oh, shoulder breaker. Oh, my. Tessa Blanchard has a bad shoulder on the left side, and that could have damaged the right side. That was two and three quarters, David. Two we could have had a quarters. new wild world champion. The PA was getting ready to hand the belt to Serpentine. Serpentine didn't get all she wanted out of that shoulder breaker. Referee Odie trying to break it up. Tessa in the corner. She doesn't want to be reversal. Serpentine into the corner. Tessa rushing, and there's the boot to the jaw. Serpentine up. Tessa kicking her down. Tessa's intense little fortitude showing here. Pure frustration. Pure anger. Code breaker. Code breaker. Tessa's got her. One, two, no! That should have been a three count. The champion almost retained the title off of the code breaker. What can Tessa Blanchard do to gain a victory on this powerful competitor, Serpentine? Tessa Blanchard's frustration showing on her face. She's giving it all she's got, and she's still not getting the victory. She is beside herself right now. What an impressive, impressive action we're seeing from Serpentine. This is the main event, fans, and if it continues, we might have to leave you in the midst of all the action. If it does, we will show the highlights on next week's episode of Wild Women of Wrestling. Oh my gosh, impressive top rope maneuver, but Tessa Blanchard, super kick, super kick. Tessa's got her up. Here we've seen this before. The Diamond DDT, the Diamond DDT. One, two, three, that's oh, that's all she wrote. Locking up Serpentine in that patented diamond DDT that we've seen her use time and time again. Tessa Blanchard has put away so many opponents. We thought she pulled out all the stops, but she did not. She had one more trick up her sleeve, and that is what caused her to gain the victory here over an impressive Serpentine. The diamond still shines here in WOW. We still cannot deny it. She is still a legend born out of this world. Tessa Blanchard is still the WOW World Champion. Look at this! It's Jungle Girl! It's the Beast! It's Helmet!